Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video, I'm going to check the Secure ES126, a high quality smart mini electric screwdriver. I have been using this device for the last couple of weeks, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use it and give my feedback after testing it out. And by the way, I can already tell you in advance that this is not something that everybody is going to purchase since it is a little bit expensive. However, for people with arthritis or other wrist issues, and for people who deal with a lot of electronic components, this is definitely something that you would like to check out. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the box, along with the electric screwdriver, you are getting the user manual, some stickers, and a box that contains 24 bits in different sizes and shapes, and a manual handle. Operating the ES126 is very simple. Pressing one of these buttons is going to wake up the electric screwdriver and after about 15 seconds of inactivity, it is going to be automatically turned off. Over here you can find a USB Type-C connector, which is used for charging the internal battery and also for upgrading the firmware. So once connected to your computer, the ES126 is going to be recognized as a flash drive and then you can copy the new firmware file from your computer to the flash drive and the ES126 is going to be automatically upgraded. In addition, the ES126 features an OLED screen, which indicates the battery level, the direction of the rotation, and the selected torque. Selecting the torque is done by short pressing one of the buttons three times. Then you'll be able to set the torque to angle, so the torque is going to be adjusted based on the angle of the screwdriver, and you can set it to P, 1, 2, 3, and 4, where P is the highest level of torque, and 4 is the lowest one. After selecting the torque, you can control the movement of the screwdriver by long pressing one of these buttons and then rotate your hand to the right or to the left. So you can see right now I am rotating the screwdriver to the right and similarly to the left. The only difference between these two buttons is that the right one is going to turn on three LEDs which can help you in a low light environment. As for using the ES126, it feels very solid in the hand However, it is a little bit on the heavy side and it weighs 125.8 grams. The majority of the weight comes from the metal case. The lithium-ion rechargeable battery, which is soldered to the main board, is actually pretty small. Fully charging it takes about 40 minutes and it should last you for between 30 to 60 minutes of runtime, depending on the selected torque. Now, by the way, it's very important for me to let you know that you shouldn't disassemble the ES126 by yourself unless instructed by SECURE. You are very likely to damage it, and on top of that, the motor is held in its position using two very small limiting blocks, which can get lost easily, and without them, the screwdriver cannot function. Here is a quick demo of using the ES126. Most of the chances are that you will need to apply a little bit of manual force in order to initially release the screw, and then you'll be able to automatically unscrew it. The screw head is magnetic, which is pretty convenient. In my experience, torque level P is sufficient for most types of usage, including securing T-mounted propellers. And in case you would like to make sure that the screw is properly secured, you can use the provided handle. As for the box that contains all the bits and the manual handle, everything is magnetic inside, which helps to keep everything well organized. So overall, after using the Secure ES126 for a couple of weeks now, I can tell you that this is definitely a product that I'm going to continue using, as it is convenient and saves a lot of time and effort. The main issue is that the ES126 is a little bit on the expensive side, as currently, at the moment of shooting this video, it costs over $100, and I think that for that reason, it is going to have mainly three types of customers. The first ones are people with wrist issues, the second ones are professional users, and the third ones are people who are looking for a gift for somebody who is into electronics, as sometimes it is just hard to justify purchasing an expensive item for yourself. I do hope, however, that in the future Secure will be able to come out with a cheaper version, so it is going to be more affordable and more people will be able to purchase it. Anyway, that's going to be it for this quick video. As always, I thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.